New Yorkers have never seen anything like this before. A disaster relief hospital being built in their city in the shadow of Manhattan's skyscrapers and on the ground where they bring their children to play. So this will be for people suffering from coronavirus? Yeah, yeah. So patients uh, come from Mount Sinai will be coming over here uh, tomorrow. This grass has been converted into a hospital in just 48 hours, but there is no time to waste here. The intensive care unit will start taking patients from tomorrow. This is disaster relief. The medics who will staff this are used to working in places like hurricanes, earthquakes. They were in Iraq after the Battle of Mosul. It is extraordinary to think they are setting up a field hospital like this right in the middle of Manhattan in Central Park of all places. Beds, ventilators and staff are in seriously short supply. More help has arrived by sea. The hospital ship Comfort sailed past Lady Liberty and into a city where freedom is now scarce. She has a thousand beds on board and will start treating non-COVID patients, freeing up space in the overstretched hospitals. Her arrival is a relief and a boost for a city fearing the worst. The death toll in New York has now shot past a thousand and there is a long way to go yet. We've lost over 1,000 New Yorkers. To me, we're beyond staggering already. We've reached staggering. New York has been playing catch up from day one. Its advanced medical system is now being supported by makeshift hospitals wherever they can find space. Who would have ever thought that Central Park would be used for this?